Hi guys, this current challenge is called Print Pretty. In this challenge, we're going to receive some numbers and we have to format them and display them according to a set of rules. So I'm going to scroll down quickly here. This is the sample input. We're going to receive three space separated values. They are all decimal values and we need to display them one on each line in hexadecimal form, also in decimal form, but with um, a certain prefix and also as a scientific value. So if I go up here, right, they give us the output format, what we have to do, how we need to print them. So what I'm going to do is read one requirement or one rule and then explain my code here. My code is what you can see on the right side of the screen and it is in between the uh, blocked section here, which is highlighted in red. So what they have here is what handles the inputs for the program. So here you have int t, that is the number of test cases. Then they set this um, iOS flag for uppercase and they also set the width here. So this is a predefined width. And then uh, they have this while loop where they get the input for the double variable A. Then they do the same thing for B and also C. So our job now is to display A, B, and C following the output format here. So for A here, we need to strip the decimal. That means we need to truncate it and remove whatever is after the decimal point. And we need to print the value as a hexadecimal representation. That means that we also need to include the um, OX prefix. And it has to be in lowercase letter. That means that even the prefix needs to have a lowercase x, not a capital X. So this is the line that handles that requirement. So we have this C out here. That is because this is an output statement. We want to output something on the screen. Of course, I guess you could use printf and use the proper format specifiers, but I want to stick with the IOMANIP header in C++ and use um, C out statements. So here we have C out and then we have show base. So show base is the format flag in C++ that allows us to display 0x for hexadecimals. If I remove that, then we, we are not going to have the 0x prefix. Then here I specify that this is a hex value. So I want to represent the value in the stream at that point as a hexadecimal value. Then I have this left flag here and this is going to push or pad my content to the left because they have set a width here. So if I, I don't add the left flag, my value is going to be padded to the right. So what I want to do is force it to display from the left. And then I have this no uppercase to cancel out what they've set here at the top in the iOS flags. They have uppercase. So I want to cancel that out with the no uppercase flag. And then I am casting the value for A as a long integer. So the long integer here is because I want to remove the digits after the decimal point in the value. Notice that in this sample input, they have 100.345. I want to remove that. That is called truncation. I want to remove that and simply keep 100. So technically, I could convert that value to an int and it will also achieve that same purpose for uh, the sample inputs. But then when I try to pass all the test cases, I'm going to get an error because some values are going to be way above 5 billion. So if I want to handle that properly as an int value or as an integer, I need to use a long integer. That's why I'm using long here and not int. Now for the next C out statements here, because I'm trying to print B, I need to scroll up and read the requirements here. So this says we need to print it to a scale of two decimal places, meaning we need to keep only two digits after the decimal point. And we need to show the uh, positive or negative sign. And we also need to justify the value to the right and pad it on the left with underscores so that the printed result is exactly 15 characters wide. It sounds like a lot, but it's not so much. In fact, um, if you scroll down here to the outputs, uh, the sample output, you can see that they have this value here, 2006.01. That is because they've rounded up 2000.008. So that will give you 2000.01 here. It's a positive value. So they have the positive sign right here. But because the width here is 15 characters and there is nothing to show on the left, we need to fill that space with underscores. So that's what I'm doing here. I have C out again. Then I'm setting the width of that field to 15 characters. And then I'm, I'm pushing it or padding it to the right. I am filling the empty space with an underscore with set fill here. And I am also having this flag show POS, or maybe we say show pause. I'm not too sure, but this is what is going to display the uh, positive or negative sign. 
And then I also have this fixed with set precision set to two. That is because I want to round up and only display the first two digits after the decimal point. So once I'm done uh, having all these um, format flags, I can then have B here because I am axing on the value B and then I can go to the next line. And finally, now we can move to C. So C is much simpler. It simply says we need to print it to a scale of exactly nine decimal places expressed in scientific notation using uppercase. So notice here that we, we set that flag to uh, no uppercase. So for C, I have this CL statement and I'm setting this flag scientific because I want to represent that value as a scientific value. Then I have no show pause because I no longer need to display the positive or negative sign. I also need to set it to uppercase, right? When I'm displaying the E character inside my scientific notation, like here, for instance, you can see we have a 2.33 something. And then we have this capital E here plus zero three. So this E has to be uppercase, not lowercase. That's why I have uppercase here. And then I also have set position to nine because I need to display nine digits after the decimal points. And finally, I'm calling C here with end line. So that's it for the entire code of this uh, HackerRank challenge. We've passed sample test case zero. So now I can submit this code and check if we can pass all the uh, 10 test cases up to test case nine. And we just did it. So that's it for this HackerRank challenge, guys. If you liked my solution, please make sure you subscribe. Turn on your notifications, share this video with your friends, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.